You might be wasting gold and resources every single week and you may not even know it. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive in the cache of gold and dark matter and determine whether or not it's actually worth investing in this week by week or potentially taking a different route. If we take a quick look, we can sell, hey, you can craft this once per week. Within it, there's 1,500 gold and 250 dark matter. Sounds pretty good up front and that it costs 20 gypsum orbs. However, there may be a little bit of a different approach to get more bang out of your buck in regards to these gypsum orbs. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is taking a closer look at overall matrixes and the overall costs on my server. Currently, I'm in Orofina, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do a quick search for each of the three matrixes, starting with armor. I can tell that they are 4.8K. Now I'll go ahead and move over to jewelry. I can see that it is 6.7K. And last but not least, the weapon matrix, which is 5.6K approximately. So jewelry matrix is the most expensive on my server. Chances are it is also the most expensive on your server, but it's worth doing a double check. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and just craft a bunch of gypsum orbs. Again, you can do this from just daily activities. I have a bunch stashed up as you can tell, but I'm just really just picking up a ton of these so I can play around and experiment a little bit just to get some numbers and straight facts on what is worth it. So as we know, Jewelry Matrix is the most expensive on my server. So of course, I'm gonna be crafting that because I wanna get the most out of my gypsum orbs. I can tell that it costs one Blessed Rivet and one Honing Acid per Jewelry Matrix. Here are the ingredients for the Blessed Rivets. I'm going pretty fast, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just share the overall costs after I craft all these items and do a side-by-side -side comparison on what's worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft these. Keep in mind, you do need 250 jewel crafting for this. And then the other piece of the ingredient for the jewelry matrix is of course over at the arcane repository. And that is the honing acid, which costs what you can see on the screen. I'm gonna craft two of them and you need 250 arcana. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft these. There we go. I have what I need to craft the jewelry matrixes. I'm going back on over and I'm going to craft two of them because it will total out to 20 gypsum orbs. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the things we just crafted, overall costs, and whether or not the cache of golden matter is worth it compared to the jewelry matrix. So right off the bat, the cache of golden matter we know costs 20 gypsum orbs. Right now, the biggest cost for these are just time. You know, you can do X amount of gypsum orbs per day. So it really just depends on how often you're grinding and how much you value those individually. The reward for the cash and golden matter is that you get 1500 gold and 250 dark matter. Sure, awesome, great. But I mean, like it really just comes down to whether or not you really need to get dark matter quickly. Overall to the jewelry matrix side, let's keep in mind we crafted two of these because it totaled out to a total of 20 gypsum orbs to create two of them, just so we're kind of keeping it even in regards to overall gypsum orbs for each of these categories. If we add up all the ingredients in regards to what it costs to craft two jewelry matrixes, these are the costs, the costs we see Personally, on my server, I'm in Orofina. Might be a little bit different based on where you're at, but overall, it's the same end result. We can see that I spent a total of 6,868 gold to craft two of these jewelry matrixes. And in return, based off of the prices that I shared earlier in this video, I gained a total of 6.5K gold. So with that being said, I gain about 5,000 extra gold simply by crafting and selling these jewelry matrixes rather than just picking up that weekly cash. That adds up quickly. Keep in mind, this is once a week, four times a month. That's 20,000 extra gold in your pocket every single month. Totally worth it. Again, it really comes down to how much you value dark matter. I mean, they seem to be handing it out pretty often now. The Legacy of Crassus event, you were able to get 300 dark matter per day which is a bit insane and just more overall input in regards to why it's worth crafting these jewelry matrixes 
over this cache of gold and matter. Now, the only situation in which I think it might be worth crafting this is if you're a fresh level 65 and you really just need dark matter quickly to bump up some overall resources, or if you honestly just hate crafting altogether, you don't have 250 armoring and all uh, those other trade skills, you might just say, eh, it's not worth grinding up to hit that 5k extra profit. In the meantime, I'll just pick that up and call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, there's going to be a lot more New World content coming soon. I know it's pretty quiet over the next few months, but keep in mind this game is pretty in-depth and there's lots to talk about. So be sure to stick around because I've got a lot more videos coming soon. Catch you guys later.